the discovery that my team and I have made in Samoa is that we are uncovering the origins of hierarchical society in Samoa and also perhaps in the world at large. Um, we've done this by first uh, noting a dramatic rise in population in Samoa about a thousand years ago from a previous genetic study. And we've paired that with archaeology and environmental science to understand the development of the archaeological landscape that consists of massive rock walls, boundary walls, agricultural ditches, platforms that are used for ceremonies and housing, and all of those structures begin about a thousand years ago. And in doing so, we think we have the kind of rise of chiefdom-like behaviors and control and power of those, over those populations beginning in those same areas around that same time. The technology that we use to find these archaeological structures, which are ubiquitous across the landscape, is called LIDAR. And it's a mapping technology that involves firing lasers from an airplane, and those lasers are bounced off the ground surface and caught by instruments in the plane again to produce a really precise map that cuts through the vegetation and the jungle to reveal just the bare ground below, including these massive uh, border walls, ditches, and platforms. And it, it's um, really revolutionized archaeology in around the world, not only in the Pacific, but also in places like Central America where you have dense jungle. The universities involved include the University of Auckland, the University of Hawaii, and the University of Canterbury. Um, and graduate students, PhD students, and master's students, as well as students and staff from the National University of Samoa and their Center for Samoan Studies. In particular, people on the ground that I kind of work with every day are mostly Samoan men from the villages and they help us to clear bush, to identify structures, to do the work of excavation. Essentially all the things that I do in the field, they do with me. Um, and the knowledge that we've gained from this uh, project is uh, relevant to people in Samoa as well. So the, again, the local Samoans that I talk to every day, they're fascinated by the kinds of findings we have um, that tell, tell about uh, political boundaries that don't exist anymore or structures that are now uncovered and are related to oral traditions that they've grown up with. Um, the chiefs themselves in the villages are fascinated by um, the timing of these developments that link up with traditionally known genealogies that stretch, stretch back 30 generations.